Students find it very difficult to learn the German uh, genders. And you know that these genders, without knowing them, you will not learn the German language properly. So on today's video, I'll be teaching you how to know the genders that are masculine, feminine, and neutral. So let's go. When talking about genders of noun, for example, you know that the sign for masculine nouns are mostly dear, which is mostly the the word for D in the nominative case. And then you have D for feminine nouns and then das for, for neutral nouns. And for plural, you have D. So today we will not be doing the plurals. We are going to be looking into the singular nouns and their genders. So for masculine gender nouns, you can notice that most masculine nouns show that something is masculine. When it comes to human beings, you can think of their man, which is the man, their junge, which is the boy. And if it is for feminine, you can think of the Frau, which is the woman, the Dame, which is the lady. And then you also have for neutral noun, that's Kent, which is the child and as well that's mention which is a small girl generally there are some things that once you see them you will know automatically that this is a masculine noun or a feminine noun take for example when you talk about berufe that is occupations for example you can say they are mechanica which is a mechanic and for the female you just have to add i n because the i n denotes the occupation of a woman then you have the mechanica ring you can as well have their asked the Edson. This one has umlaut for the feminine. I'll be giving you mostly two two examples of each of them. Then when it comes to nouns that end with man, for example, you have their Kaufman, that's a, a, a business person. Then you have the Kaufrau for the feminine. You use the Frau to replace the man. You have Handesman, then you have Handesfrau. Okay, that is a salesperson. Good. And then there are generally nouns that are masculine noun. For example, when you talk about the days of the week, that is the Wochentage. You will notice that all the days of the week are masculine. For example, der Montag, der Dienstag. Okay. Then the months of the year, that is the Monate. All of them are masculine nouns. For example, you have dia januar and then dia april the seasons of the year in europe okay you have uh, yaris titan in europa they are all masculine now for example they are fruiting that's the spring and as well dia winter because now is the season for winter so the winter they are all masculine now we also talk about richtung that is directions okay when you talk about the north is a masculine and you have Dear Norden and then the East because I'm from the Eastern part of Nigeria, so I will say Dear Osten. Okay, good. Then there are some things that are also considered uh, as masculine noun, for example, precipitations, for example, Dear Regen, that is the rain, Dear Faint, which is also the wind, Dear Storm, which is the storm. Then most masculine noun, all of them like ending with the consonant sound most of them ends with consonant sound for example you have the electro head which is the electric cooker you see it ends with a d which is a consonant the cool shrank which is the fridge it ends with a k some words that end with l i n g for example the schmetterling which is the butterfly and as well the tvilling which is the twins or which are masculine for example the moto and you also have the ventilator which is the fan. Their motto is the engine. Most words that end in ER are mostly masculine unless they are in the plural. Okay, so we are talking about mainly singular here. So you have, for example, the Fenzeha, which is the television, and you have Apfa Aim, which is the West Bean. Words that also end with IG are likely to be masculine. For example, you have the Konish, which is the king, and then the Honish, which is the honey. Words that end with E umlaut R, for example, the secretary, which is the secretary, and as well the beer, which is the beer, the animal beer. It's A umlaut N, for example, the captain, A N T, the practicant, and as well the uh, the feminine of this now will still be to put I. I N. That will be the practicant. That is a an apprentice. They are different 
which is the delivery names of cards most of them are also masculine now for example you have their audi their mercedes ist for example you have their politist they are feminist. They are politics is a policeman. They are feminist, a feminist. E U R. You have there they are frisor, which is a hairstylist, and also they are engineer, which is an engineer. Ismus. They are racismus, which is racism, and as well they are capitalismus, which is the capitalism. You can notice that that's Wochen Ende. That is a neutral now. And then D Vocher is a feminine now. D Yares Titan, which is also in the plural. Okay, or the Yares tight, which will be feminine. Okay, that's the season of the year. So the names are feminine or neutral, but the what's their content are masculine. Okay, I always tell my students, since you know that this thing is called handy as phone, you are supposed to learn it as that's handy. That is the simplest way you can learn something and know the gender at the same time. Okay, you learn it along, the meaning alongside with the gender. That will help you to save you from all the stress. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, like, and comment. Ask your questions in the comment section. Now, for the feminine nouns, I've already given you some of the feminine nouns. The mostly simple way of knowing a feminine noun is that most feminine nouns, the nouns end with E. Okay, so you have the lamp, which is the lamp, the dozer which is a can. Some feminine nouns end with EI. We have, for example, the bakery, that's the bakery. And then you have the metzgerai, that is the butchery. U-N-G. The Zendung, which is the program. That is the Fenze Zendung, the television program. And then the Regierung, that is the government. Height, the Gesundheit, which is the health. And you have the Weisheit, which is wisdom. Shaft. For example, the partner shaft, that is the partnership, and then you have the friend shaft, that is friendship. I O N. So you have the production, that is production, and then you have the nation, that is the nation. There are many more. You just make your own own research. Okay. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like and comment. Check out the playlists I have. We teach youth education. We also teach German literature and African literature here. Thank you. E A So you have example the activity, which is the activity, and then you have the university, which is the university. E T T E. For example, you have the house cat, that's the necklace, and as well the toilet, that's the toilet. A D E. You have example the lemonade, which is the lemonade, and as well the marmalade, which is the marmalade or jam. I K. For example, the politic, the politics, and as well, the critic, which is the critic. E and Z, the consequence, that's the consequences and the competence, that's the competence. I.E., for example, the battery, the battery, and the family, the family. N.I.S. The allowedness, permission, the erkentness, knowledge. Some of these N.I.S. nouns are also neutral nouns. All these rules does not apply all the time because there are some exceptions. That is why I said it's better to learn the noun alongside with the gender. German feminine nouns also end with kite. For example, you have freundlich kite, that is a friendliness, and you have schreitisch kite, which is quarrel or dispute. Now let's go over to the neutral nouns. I will say that most neutral nouns are nouns that end with either consonants or vowel but most vowels are not e you can see vowels like i o and so on most c h e n chen they are denoting that something is small and they are all neutral nouns for example a sketch which is, is a kitty a kitty and you have das canishin which is a rabbit a small rabbit some neutral nouns ending in consonants for example that's dark which is the roof that's land which is the country and also that's skin which is the chart okay and we also have um words that are borrowed from maybe french or english that's restaurant which is a restaurant that's hotel which is a hotel most words ending in o okay vowel sound o they are also neutral you have example that's conto which is the account that's video which is the video and M E N T. So you have an example that's medicament, which is the medicine, that's parliament, which is also the parliament. U M. You have that's museum, which is the museum, and then that's studium, which is the studies. L 
E-I-N are also neutral nouns, for example. That's fraud line, miss. That's bush line, booklet. D-U-M, you have example, that's datum. And also, that's reichtum, which is the wealth. Datum is the date. With E-N, when they are not uh, plural, they are singular. For example, you have vartation, which is an emblem. And you also have uh, vashbecken. Which is a wash hand person. Unusual nouns also end with shifts, okay? Because we have um, feminine now ending with shafts, but this one has umla shift. So you have example that's geschäft, which is um, a shop. N I S, like I said before. So you have, for example, that's a gebnis, which is the result, and as well that's toigenis, which is also the result. Z E U G. You have example that's flugtoig, which is the aeroplane, and you have. Das Vectoic, which is the two, the working two. Nominalisierung mit Verben. Verbs that are changed into nouns, okay, they remain the same the way they are in the infinitive, but you will have to write them with capital letter. They are going to be taking the neutral gender. For example, das Schwimmen, that is the swimming, and you have das Lernen, the Lernen. Some neutral nouns are also metals. For example, you have das Kopfer, which is the copper, and as well das Aluminium, which is the aluminium. And also you have fractions as neutral nouns. For example, das Drittel, das Viertel, the quarter. But the feminine nouns are uh, numbers, whole numbers. For example, you can say eine Eins, eine Zwei. They are mostly cardinal numbers. Okay, that there are some uh, words in German that have double gender. So the gender di di are only determined by the dialects, depending on the dialects where you have. So some people can say their computer, some will say that's computer, their meta, some will say that's meta. So I will say there you got, some will say the you got, some will say that's you got. Okay, but we have some nouns that that their gender can determine the meaning of the noun. But you have this noun, the bank. The bank can mean two things. It can be the bench for sitting down. It can as well mean the bank. Their band. It can be a book cover, a hard cover, okay, of a book. That's their band. But if you say that's band, it will mean the tape. Okay, it is left for you to find out these things. Okay, by yourself, make research and find out more. So this is the end of this video. Please, and I am wishing you Merry Christmas. Remember, we are still doing giveaway. Go and watch my giveaway video and participate. Okay, please share my video, subscribe, like this video. I know you have learned a lot. Ask your questions in the comment section. Until we meet next time. Cheers.